Let's talk about NVIDIA RTX 40 series, Ada Lovelace GPU configurations allegedly leaked out. Over 18,000 CUDA cores for the flagship AD102 GPU. Mmm. You know, I really like this design with the kind of superimposing the images on top of the GPU. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. I hope that's a thing for real. But we'll just put a Bitcoin logo there. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 40 GPUs based on Ada Lovelace graphics architecture have their SM configurations allegedly leak out, pointing out over 18,000 cores for flagship AD102 chip. Why would I start believing leaks like this, by the way, too? Well, NVIDIA confirmed the hack, okay? I bet we're going to see a lot of NVIDIA leaks over the next couple weeks. And maybe we'll even see that light hash rate 100% actually happen too. Recently, NVIDIA got hacked and hackers were able to steal over one terabyte of confidential information, which has started leaking out. Some information that has leaked out in the public already includes a bypass for the light, ha light hash rate technology. Um, I guess maybe I need to dig deeper on that one. Source code for DLSS technology and code names for of the next gen GPU architecture. We have seen information regarding Hopper's successor, Blackwell, leak out that will feature at least two data center chips, but this latest leak is specific to the consumer GPU lineup on Ada Lovelace GPU architecture. According to the leak, NVIDIA will have at least six GPUs within its Ada Lovelace lineup. This will include the 8102, 8103, 8104, 8106, 8107, and 80. 10B. The first five SKUs will be designed for the desktop and mobility segments and featured in both the GeForce RTX 40 and RTX Workstation solutions. The last part is reportedly by Copy to be specific to the next gen Tegra SOC, while the Ampere based GA10F could be or could go on to power the next gen switch handheld console and Tegra drive solutions. One thing that we did see a leak of was the Switch 2. Where is that leak probably coming from? Well, remember, it's NVIDIA hardware. All right. So that would make a lot of sense right there. So coming to the leaked SKUs, the top 8102 GPU, which is likely going to power the next gen GeForce RTX 4090, RTX 4080 Ti graphics card, will make use of 144 SMs, a 71% increase over the existing GA102 GPU, and house a massive 18,432 CUDA core count. The interesting thing here is that the AD102 GPU is the only SKU that is getting over 50% increase in SM count and considering what we have heard about the flagship chip in terms of performance and power consumption it looks very likely that Nvidia is going all out with its top chip in the Ada Lovelace family. The AD103 GPU will replace the GA103 GPU which was recently introduced on mobile and feature the same SM count as the GA102 GPU at 84. The AD104, AD106, and AD107 GPUs will feature 60, 36, and 24 SM units, respectively. Besides the AD103 GPU, which is a 40% SM increase of the G over the GA103, every other GPU gets 20 to 25 or 25 to 20 percent SM count increase over its predecessor. It's not, a, it's not as significant as the AD102 GPU, but considering this is the mainstream segment, we are likely going to get an RTX 3080 or similar performance out of an RTX 4060 Ti and RTX uh, 3070 or higher performance out of the standard <coughs> RTX 4060. The RD, RTX 4050 should be close or on par with an RTX 3060, given the addition of the IPC and clock improvements aside from architectural upgrades. In addition to the SM counts, the Ada Lovelace GPUs will also feature increased L2 cache sizes, starting with the 8102 GPU. The flagship would be outfitted with up to 96 megabytes of L2 cache with an insane 16 times increase over the six megabytes of L2 cache featured on GA102. The, G the 8103 GPU will feature 64 megabytes 
8104 will feature 48 megabytes, while both 8106 and 8107 GPUs will feature 32 megabytes of L2 cache. As for the memory bus, the flagship 8102 will feature 384-bit bus. Awesome. The 8103 will get a 256-bit bus, and 8104 will feature a 192-bit bus interface, while the lower ones will be 128-bit. So that's what we're looking at as far as the memory bus width. And then I think we also get the faster memory. I don't know if it will be the faster GDDR6 or the faster GDDR6X or some something completely different. With these memory bus widths, it's possible that we do get <coughs> some pretty nice performance from mining, but to compensate for that, that increase in power consumption that we've talked about that we're worried about could make them, you know, not great, right? So you have the PCI Gen 5 connector. Most of the power supplies are only coming with one of them. <coughs> so you have a single connector that's at 600 watts. Potentially at the top end, it'll take basically 800 to 900 watts with two power requirements on them. That's going to make it pretty difficult for miners to go ahead and deploy, but we'll just have to see uh, once we get there. Uh, memory capacity, so GDDR6 memory type on that it's for the that's the two ring. So GDDR6X, they don't have announced speeds. I assume it would be the faster speed, uh, and then it's saying 24 gigabytes. If it's really just going to be 24 gigabytes on a 384-bit bus of GDDR6 clocked at 21 uh, gigabits per second, it's not going to be that good. Probably even stick with the 3090. However, if they do upgrade even further um, on the memory speeds, etc., it could be pretty fun to at least test out. So, that's the full leaks there for the Ada Lovelace. Do I think they're accurate? Yes, at this point with that big hack that went through all the information that leaked out, I think it's pretty accurate. And I do think that the Switch 2, just to follow back up on that, is getting released and we have you know the specifications for that from NVIDIA hardware-wise. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.